Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In today's tutorial, let's take a look at how to use the image map tool, which happens to be a tool available in both version 15 as well as version 16 of WYSIWYG Web Builder. So uh, this image map tool allows you to create a link within an image. So to show you what I mean, let me just come to the toolbox and then click on image map in my toolbox and then draw in here. So what I'm supposed to do is just locate the image I want to link. So in this case, I'm going to go to the location of my image, which should be somewhere in my downloads. And uh, let me just come in here and select my image. So this is the image I want to use. Let me just expand this a little bit. Now, what I want to do is to be able to create a link within this particular image. And it says that once you hover the cursor over the head section of the bed, it is going to showcase a link and you can actually click on that and then it will lead you to whatever page or whatever website I link that to. So to get started, just simply double click on the image map to and you see a couple of um, settings or options which are available in here. So the first part under general is of course where you specify the image and um, add alternative text as well as title. The next one is where you probably would want to add a border you can actually go ahead to do that now this is the most important part that allows you to go ahead to create the spot where you want to have as a link within this image so when you click on um, hotspot we have a couple of options in here you have circle you have rectangle as well as you have polygon so to um, add a link which is going to be in a circular form you probably would want to use the add circle here you specify the coordinates which is going to position the circle where you want to have it and um, to go ahead to use a rectangular one also you click on that and I specify the details as well as to have a polygon you can do that as well now in this case I'm going to use a rectangle um, in here to be able to create a section within my image which is going to be a link once I click on it it's going to take me somewhere so under the hotspot where you specify or select rectangle you have a couple of options um, that you're supposed, you're supposed to you know, fill in here. So the first one is left, which is from the left to the right hand side, the position aspect as well as from the top where you have in here. So let's assume that this is going to be about, let's say um, about 150 pixels. So I'm going to specify 150 from the left as well as 150 from the top. And then the width, so the width is for the rectangle that I'm creating. What size do I want to have? So I want to have about, um, let's say 200 by 200 pixels. So let me just specify that here and here. Now when I click on OK and then I click on OK and then I preview this image, you are going to see some change. Let me just go ahead and preview this. You realize this is the entire image. Now, once I begin to hover on the aspect that I specified, you realize that I actually have my image created here. By this case, it looks like I have specified more, um, you know, position more um, than necessary. So let me just come back in here and then um, tweak that a bit. So I'll come back here and then probably let me just make this instead of 150. Let me try 150 and 50. And then also you notice at this section that there's a link. This is actually where you can click to select either a page or whatever link you want to create. You can go ahead to do that in here. So once you click on that section of the image, it is going to take you to the respective part. So in this case, let's say external web address, and I probably would want to use this. So forward slash um, dapsen ishmael.com. And I want to open this in a new browser tab. Oh, yeah. So let me just go ahead and then click on OK. Click on OK. So as you can see, we have our image map in here. And the cool thing about this is you can actually click to move this where you want it to be so this is actually going to automatically change the coordinates that i have in here so as you can see we have that change so if this is what you want to have you go ahead and um, specify that and you preview this so once you preview it you realize that we have our link created in here so basically this is how to go about using the image map to which would actually help you create interactive you know um, elements on your website especially when you are using image in WYSIWYG Web Builder.